Welcome back to Humble Garden. Today I want to show you a quick hack. You can grab a napkin roll, cut it into different sizes or in half, or you can use the rolls of toilet paper. And I'm going to show you how to fold it to make your own little seed seedling containers. So once you've cut the roll, you're going to cut the edges. You're going to make four cuts. Okay. You'll cut four cuts. So what I do is I slightly bend the roll like so, and I cut the ends and then in the middle of the two ends that you've cut, okay? Now the hardest part is going to be folding the edges in. So what you want to do is put each corner or the each corner in front of the next little flap, okay? So you'll put this little corner in front of this one, you'll put this little corner in front of this one, and so forth. Okay, so once you've put each corner in front of the next little tab, you'll simply fold it in like so. And voila, you've got a little um, seedling container. And of course, these will disintegrate um, as your little seed grows, you're gonna be watering it and then you can plant the whole thing in the water. So I've got all of these that I'm gonna fill. This one's a little tall, so I may trim the top or I may leave it like that. But I'm gonna work on this one as well. And there you have it. See that? Really simple seedling hack. Okay, I filled them up and put the seeds in. I just need to cover them with dirt. And the little red tags that you see is actually um, a deck of playing cards that I cut in strips and made little labels and they work wonders because they are semi waterproof so it's a great way to label your little seedlings here you'll see a this is a picture of the kale that is growing in those little um, containers that i made and it's doing really well and here are the rest of the seeds some of the seeds didn't grow but i think it's because it was too hot um, but the rest are doing quite well the larger ones that you see in this picture is squash which I have already transplanted. And I transplanted the kale. Kale grows really fast, so I recommend that you try growing kale if you haven't already done so. I also grew bok choy, which you'll find in this picture. But I transplanted this, and as you see in this picture, in grow bags. Here's the bok choy again, um, which has done exceptionally well in the grow bags if you have not already tried grow bags, try it. Here it is again, and it's still growing. Um, if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, please do so. I do post regularly, so if you haven't done so, please do so. Um, you'll see here are a few snapshots of some photos that I've taken from my garden. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel so that you're updated on other videos that I'm posting and give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all and uh, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.